hello you guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here make sure you like comment subscribe don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time i post a new video and if you're not new here and you're an og thank you thank you thank you for <laughs> thank you thank you for um supporting me loving me even when i'm not consistent you know y'all still stick around so i really 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 do appreciate you guys and i got little mamas in the back if you guys have not seen um my last video um but it was a it was a dedication to her um on her birthday um i uploaded pictures of um pictures and videos of her like me being pregnant the ultrasound and then when she first rolled over um and then as she got older up until you know what she looks like now so it's just my little dedication to her um so if you haven't checked that video out go check it out um you know this is my baby girl this is my my darling my love um for those of you who are new um her name's monaya she is now six years old her birthday was may 14th taurus in the building but yeah so um this is going to be a you know little life update and yeah i got my natural hair out no i'm not bald i didn't cut it i'm not bald but no i didn't cut it off ponytail my little ponytail so sorry if i'm kind of like cut off or whatever and i'm sorry if you really can't see the food but this right here is iced tea and then this right here if you've seen my short that i just posted not too long ago that's what this is um i decided to eat dinner early because around for those of you who know i eat my dinner in between the hours of four and six but around five o'clock to like 6 30 um the internet company that i'm with um supposed to, the technician supposed to be coming out here to get my wi-fi back on because my i haven't had wi-fi in weeks like i haven't had wi-fi since may 1st and that's because um where i live they were working on my apartment building's roof and apparently the wires go up to the roof so i don't know if they cut it or whatever the case may be so a technician's supposed to come out come fix it so i can get my internet back on because i am tired of using my mobile hotspot and it's sucking it up and I don't want to go over it because then that means I have to pay extra. But anyway, we're going to get into this video. It probably won't be a long video. I'm um, just going to give you guys a little update on what's been going on with either myself or my little stinker bug here. So let's say grace and then we're going to get in there. Heavenly Father, I come before you asking you to bless the food that I'm about to receive. I ask that you allow it to be nourished into my body. You bless the hands that prepared it. And bless those who do not have. We give you all the glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I do have... Um, let me show you real quick. She is watching Spongebob. Want to say hi to the people? With her long legs. Want to say hi to the people? <laughs> um... She is watching Spongebob. I have deep her my sister, her grandma, got her um Spongebob DVDs. And since I ain't been having Wi-Fi, if I don't use my mobile hotspot, we do have a box full of DVDs where I have excuse me, some Disney movies. I have Tyler Perry plays. I'm just tired of watching them because I'm watching them over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, y'all. 
Um, this is hot right now. I did make my dinner for tomorrow as well. That way I ain't got to worry about it. I ain't got to worry about cooking it tomorrow. So this is what it looks like. Again, I'm not bald. Got my little ponytail in the back. Yep. I got gray hair right here. Y'all can't see it. Hold on, let me show y'all. Y'all see it? Gray hair? Y'all, I am 32 years old and I got gray hair. Y'all, I be stressed out. You hear me? Stressed out. But, um,. So how y'all doing? How y'all been? I hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful um, Tuesday. Um, so this is ground turkey that I seasoned and um, had in the freezer. I thought it out yesterday. Um, so I cooked it, sauteed it with some onions. <coughs> And then I had some broccoli, some frozen broccoli, put it in there with that. And then I used um, Sweet Baby Ray sweet teriyaki sauce. I got this recipe off of TikTok. I saw it on TikTok because I was looking up like healthy meals with like no rice, no pasta. Because y'all, I if you know, I love rice. I feel like you can make anything with rice anything can go with rice and i feel like this right here and the 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 meal that i made for tomorrow would go great over some rice but i'm trying to be good and not have rice now next month i'm having next month i'm having rice um rice i'm having rice but i keep coming across this guy on tiktok he got dreads and he wrote a book about like different foods and stuff that'll help lose help you lose weight and stuff and he said if you you know if you want to eat white rice don't get rice that says like enrich enriched just just rice it has to be just rice so on my food shopping list i have rice that is just jasmine rice it's not it the word enrich is not in it at all so so yeah it's just it's crazy when you try to eat healthy like this where you don't eat a lot of carbs and you try to eat fresh ingredients it's crazy that when you're trying to eat healthy, it's expensive than a motherfucker. You know, whether it be fresh meat. Well, anytime I get meat, it's always fresh. I don't ever buy frozen meat. I always get fresh meat, except the party wings that I, I had got. They were frozen, but I had to get those. They were all flats, honey. Um, And I like flats. Other than that... If I'm cooking a meal meal, I always get my meat fresh, whether it's beef, chicken, beef, chicken, turkey. I always get my meal, uh, meat, my, uh, always get my meat fresh because I like to pre-season my meat. And then once I season it, I put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the um, freezer. So then when I'm ready to cook whatever meal I'm ready to have, I could take that meat out, thaw it out, and then just cook it. So... Um, but yeah, it's just, and then with inflation and how groceries are like hella expensive nowadays, 
and then trying to eat healthy is even more expensive. It's like you're trying to save your money, and then the and then the food don't last because you're only eating. Not you, but me. I'm only eating a protein and a veggie. And sometimes these meals don't last all the time. They go pretty fast. Like, I just made this today. And this will be gone today. So, it's like, some of these meals don't usually last. And... But when you got processed food, whether it be TV dinners, um, I eat Chef Boyardee. Yes, 32 years old, I still eat Chef Boyardee. Um, you know, just quick. Why? <laughs> just quick, like, heat and eat shit. Basically, processed foods. They last longer. You know what I mean? But I know those foods types of foods are unhealthy so for somebody who's trying to eat healthy and lose weight and you know it's a little hard um but you know and then as far as like snacks i try not to do chips and you know stuff like that um my snacks be like yogurt fruit but again with fruit when it's fresh you have to eat it fast. Now, I do eat canned pineapples because the actual fresh pineapples, you know, if you know, you know, pineapples eat at your mouth. And I don't like my tongue feeling like rough um, after eating fresh pineapples. I do eat canned pineapples, but grapes, bananas, mangoes, um, watermelon oh i love me some watermelon especially when especially when it's sweet love me some watermelon i can eat watermelon i ain't gonna say all day long but i can eat a nice portion of watermelon it is so delicious if you don't eat watermelon get your life together um but yeah again stuff like that you have to eat fairly quickly because if not it'll go bad so it's like it's a little hard sometimes but um yeah so update um uh, Lanai is doing great she finally is putting on weight that she needs to be putting on. She finally reached 30 pounds. Um, she's about to, for those of you who don't know, she is with this, um, I don't want to call it program. It's, it's a hospice. It's hospice. And it's called Carousel Pediatrics out here in Las Vegas. She's, they call it graduating. She's about to graduate from there. So she will no longer be on hospice. So that, uh, that means she's doing so well that she no longer needs it. But they saying, they said she is not doing She's not doing bad and she's not doing good. She's kind of like plateauing. She's like at a standstill. And the fact that she is doing good because all her doctor's appointments are like spaced out. They're all like six months apart. So to them, that's her doing good. So she don't need to be on hospice. That means... Her nurse that come every other week and check her vitals and, you know, if I need certain medications refilled, um, you know, she won't 
no longer be coming here and doing that. Her pediatrician, instead of Lanaya going to her, she comes to the house. She will no longer be doing that. I had to find her a new pediatrician who we already met. Already, We already had an appointment with her. And again, because Lanaya is doing so good, she's up to date on her vaccine, uh, uh, va uh, vaccinations and all that. We don't have to see her pediatrician for a year. So, Lanaya is doing very well. You know what I mean? We're still trying to get her up and walking. And uh, we're working on getting her a gait trainer. <clears throat> for those of you know who don't, for those of you who don't know what a gait trainer is, basically like elderly people have like a walker. So we're trying to get something like that for her to actually start walking. Um, they're still working on standing with her and like her standing um her sitting up on her own um you know uh her eating by mouth there are certain things she will eat and then there's certain things she won't but we want her to completely solely just eat by mouth right now she has a g-tube where she mostly gets all her feedings and medications through so we're trying to get it to the point where that can come out and she's just eating by mouth. Now me, update on me. Um, I'm doing okay. You know, my my motto is as long as she good, I'm good. Girl, what is you doing? Look at her go. What is he doing? Is he trying to get a crook in your neck? Don't mind the holes over here, y'all. This is a nightgown. But yeah, my motto is as long as she good, I'm good. Um, uh, as y'all can see, I don't get much sleep because I toss and turn in my sleep. It don't matter how comfortable I get, I toss and turn. I'm like this all night this all night so i really don't get no sleep so um the only time i get good sleep is when i take edible that's the only time i sleep good it helps me sleep um what else uh, the, uh, update as far as with me School about to start back up. The summer semester is about to start up um, next month. So get ready to deal with that. Um, and then I have to do fall. Fall semester starts in August. So. But I've been doing good in in. For those of you who don't know, I am in college. So I'm a single mom and I go to college. So um I'm doing real good in, in school. I um pass all my class, I have no F's. Um I don't even know if I have any D's. So far I think it's just A, B's and C's. If y'all hear woo. It's a stupid ass pigeon. So what happened was, I'm gonna tell y'all right quick. These pigeons, my I had a hello mat in front of my door, like outside my door. These pigeons were bringing little twigs and putting them on my mat trying to make a nest and i'm like oh fuck no first of all i'm scared of birds and if you think i'm finna open my front door and you sitting on my mat on your little nest and scared the shit out of me you got another thing coming so i've been taking my mat and like shaking the twigs off and they just keep rebuilding it, keep rebuilding it. I'm like, oh, fuck no. So I took the mat that was on the outside of my door 
and it is now inside of my door <laughs> at my front door because no y'all not about to just come up here and make a nest on my on my mat they was doing it on my neighbor that's across from me they was trying to make a nest on their mat they turned their mat over they flipped it over i brought my i brought my mat in the house but yeah they be hanging out in the hallway not hallway i wouldn't consider it a hallway but they be hanging out right here my thing is make a nest underneath the goddamn steps it's secluded underneath there you got a whole lot of space it's probably a whole lot cooler down there because it's shaded and then you ain't gotta worry about humans you know what i mean like unless we coming down the steps but if you're if the pigeon is far back you ain't gotta worry about nothing why would you make a nest in front of a human's door Like, make it make sense. But, um, what else is going on with me? Um, honestly, y'all, when I tell y'all that my life is boring, my life is boring, bro. I'm a homebody. I'm a single mom who just take care takes care of her child. I don't go out. I don't you know what I mean? I don't I'm home taking care of my child. I go to school. And that's about it. There's nothing fun and exciting that I do. That's why I couldn't I couldn't ever vlog. And if I do have something fun and exciting going on, then I'll vlog. Like I did when I went to Georgia. Or when we did the whole, when, when I got the whole Make-A-Wish foundation joint. I vlogged that. Even with, but even with that, my vlogs still don't get a lot of views. So... I feel like vlogging, what's the point? What is the point? But, um... I wanted to do Q&A, but not nobody want to get to know me. Don't nobody want to ask me questions. <laughs> Which is cool, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, what it is. But I do love and appreciate every single one of y'all that has subscribed, that has um, shown me love and support who comment on almost every video or, you know. I really do appreciate it. But life is life and life goes on, you know. You just deal with the cards that were given to you. Now this summer, I wanna, I wanna get her back in a pool. So get them arms, get them arms and legs moving. Sorry y'all, somebody text me. Get those arms and legs and moving. Plus, I I feel like she would really like the pool. I love I love swimming. I still do. 
even though I really don't. But as a child growing up, I used to go swimming every summer, and I love it. And I want the same thing for her. Because, you know, just being in the water, being cool, and then that's exercise on top of that. So, next month, where I live, it's supposed to be opening the pool up. Hopefully, this year, I can get her in there. Because I tried getting her in there last year, but they was on some... They was on some other shit, so... Couldn't take her. Hmm. This is hot. But yeah, y'all. Ain't, ain't not much really been going on. Oh, for those of you who don't know. I didn't have a car before, but I have a car now. Right? I got the car at an auction. And... I thank God that I do have a car because I really needed one, right? What I didn't want was a minivan. <laughs> and guess what God blessed me with? A minivan. He said, you going to take what I bless you with. And listen, I am not... I am not ungrateful. I, I thank God for it because I really needed a vehicle. But here's the thing with this vehicle. Now, mind you, when you get a vehicle from an auction, you get it as is. So whatever the fuck's wrong with it is what the fuck's wrong with it. When I first got it, three motor mounts were, they were done for. So I had to get all four motor mounts fixed. That cost like $1,200. Now, oh, then my check engine light was on. It was on ever since I got it. I finally got it off because it was my, it was my, um, fuel tank compression sensor. Once I got that fixed, now my check engine light is off. But now, well, I ain't gonna say but now, cause it's always been an issue. But I didn't really have to worry about it until now because now it's getting hot. It's, it's starting to be in the 90s and shit. So it's hot as hell outside. And I don't like to be hot and neither do she. Her face turns red, so do mine. So, the problem is, I have air in my car, but it's not cold air. So, we are in the car roasting. And then on top of that, only one window goes down, which is the passenger side window. My window on the driver's side does not go down. Um, so, yeah, now I got I to gotta get the air fixed and figure out why it's not blowing cold air. I'm going to have to end up getting new tires just because, you know what I mean? Just to, just to be on the safe side. And I know tires are not fucking cheap. My mom told me just get the two front tires. And I was like, all right. I know having a car is a big responsibility. But I really wanted a car with no issues at all. 
Yeah, I know, I know. How do you expect that when you got a car from the ocean? Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure there are cars that I, that are at auctions where ain't nothing wrong with it. Because I've, I've gotten a car from an auction before. When we lived in Delaware, I had got my first car. It was a Toyota Camry LE. Got it at an auction. Wasn't nothing wrong with it. Nothing. I'm I I fucked that up. That was my fuck up. But yeah. I mean that's about it. Ain't really much going on. Again, my life is boring. For the first time, I decided to write a manifestation list, which I did. I wrote down my notebook and it's in my closet. Usually, I ain't going to say usually because I still do. I pray about stuff. You know what I mean? Prayer works. So now I'm praying and manifesting. So hopefully everything comes into fruition. I believe it will because I really do. I really want to travel. I really do. I really want to travel. I want to go to Bora Bora. I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Japan. And I want to take my I'm gonna take my little brother to Japan. Because he's into anime and all that. You know, and I like um Asian culture. I'm into right now, well for a while now. I've been watching on YouTube. I've been watching. I still watch my regular YouTube stuff like Kid Behind the Camera, um, LK Family, Us Outsiders. Shout out to Red and Lil Bit. Lil Bit remind me of my older sister who was just here. She popped up on us. Um, who else? But anyway, Asian culture. Um, I um, I've been into camping videos, and what got me started on it was I came across this. It was this couple, um, man and a woman, and you know they went camping. Now, <clears throat> I always said to myself, I would not ever, because me and nature do not get along. I don't like being, I feel like when I'm outside, and if I'm like around <clears throat> grass, trees, and stuff like that, I feel real itchy. I feel real dirty. And I don't like bugs. I do not like bugs. You hear me? Don't like it. So, I was always one to be like, I ain't ever going camping. Now, I wouldn't mind staying in like a um, like a cabin to get that feel of camping, maybe. And I know camping is more so like a tent and all that. But I couldn't see myself being actually out in nature in a tent you know camping so i started watching this couple who went camping and they were or not were they are turkish i still watch them to this day and i don't know i just like now that i've been watching it for a while i like the setup of camping and i feel like Camping would be 
depending on who I go with, I feel like it would be fun. It'll be a new experience. Um, but as far as where I'm getting at, as far as with Asian culture, I started watching Korean, solo Korean camping or campers. And all of them are women, right? Except one. One is a couple. Um, shout out to them. Um, it's in in her name is in Inuki. The wife's name is Inuki, and the husband's name is Ganku. 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 I'm so sorry if I'm getting your name wrong, sweetheart. But the wife. cracks me up she be having me cracking the fuck up her husband uh, now her husband he be having me back up too because when he when they be geeking and they be laughing he'll like pat like he'll like push her and pat her real hard i'd be like god damn and um but i love their love for each other especially the husband the husband you can tell he really loves his wife not to say that she don't, but you can tell he really love her. But I've been watching a lot of Korean people as far as these camping videos. Um, now, there's certain things that they do that I'd be like. Again, I like the aspect of camping because how they be setting up their tent like some of them like that couple i was just talking about they how they set their temp up temp how they set their tent up is fucking amazing they be having they they do scenes you know what i mean and they go all out when they like the the, the decorum of their tent be on point and you know just just like any, uh, and you know, some of the other people that I watch, sometimes they'll go all in, and the decorum will be nice. Some of them do uh, minimal or minimalist camping. They don't have a lot of stuff in their tent. But the 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 camping videos I love the most is when they go camping in the rain. Again, I am somebody who loves the rain. I feel like rain is calming it's peaceful it's like you get a sense of healing you know what i mean so when they camp in the rain i love it i love it i love it and then to see the different when they camp they also cook so to see the different types of meals that they cook i'm into that as well because i love asian food now do i like all asian food no because they tend to eat raw stuff. I am not one to eat nothing wrong. I mean, wrong. Nothing raw. I don't want nothing raw. Um, But there is some stuff in the Korean culture that I do want to try, like certain meals and stuff that I do want to try. Um, And then I've noticed they eat a lot of fucking vegetables. They eat a lot of vegetables, which is good. And I'm down, you know. Because any meal that I eat, there's always a vegetable included. So, I'm down for, you know, my veggies. My veggie intake. Um, I, I just like the aesthetic, the, the nostalgic of these camping videos. But it's just Korean people. I don't watch no other culture. It's just Korean people. And then the one couple that's, that's from Turkey. That's it. And then, like I said, all the campers that I do watch, they're all females, except that one couple who is husband and wife. Um, um, just to name a few, one is Peach Rim. Another one is uh, Sonito, Sonoto. I'm sorry, Sugar, if I got your YouTube name wrong. I really like her, though. I like her for real. I like her a lot because well, she's one of the ones that I like a lot because she's so perky and she's just so happy all the time. 
Even though she kind of like, <laughs> no tea, no shade, homegirl. She whines a lot in her videos, but it'd be funny though. Um, but I just like her personality. It's Kurt is quirky. It's she be so excited, and you know that's the type of energy that I like. Happy, you know what I mean. And then uh, what's her name? I don't know how to actually pronounce her name, so I'm gonna say the name of her channel. J O A. She's another one who be happy and in a good mood. It don't matter. It don't matter what happens. Like if she can't, like if she can't set up her tent, you know, as quickly as she wanted to, or she forgot something, or if <laughs> if something go wrong, if something goes wrong. She still stays positive. She still stays in a good mood. I even commented on one of her videos. Of course, I had to get it translated in 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 the Korean language. And um, but yeah, she's one. Who's another one? I watch uh, Raina, Raina travel, traveling Raina or something like that. Rain on air. Rain on there, rain it, rain it. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry, sugar. <laughs> if I got your YouTube name wrong. Rain it on air. Um, who else? Gia camping. Um, Chi Wu camp. Uh, Sia, Saya, Sia camp. Um... <laughs> All these are Korean females who do camping videos. And I enjoy watching their camping videos. Um, I'm pretty sure I have other other uh, people that I watch that are camping, but I can't think of everybody's name um, right now. But the married couple... The Korean married couple, their channel. I told y'all their names. And and Nuku and Yoki is and Yuki and Gang Ganku Ganku. I am so sorry, honey. But the channel is called Cozy Camping. Cozy Camping. Again, their decor. Like I said, they always have a theme. Their decor and then their they are hilarious. Um, I even got so in tune with it, in in tune with the the camping and then just the Korean culture itself that I started to learn the Korean language. I downloaded I downloaded <laughs> I downloaded Duolingo. Duolingo and I started to learn the Korean language. Um, I know Hexing is student. Kansamida, I learned that from JOA though, because that's she says that when she ends her video. She's like, Kansamida, I learned that. Um, yeah, I just learned the Korean language. I did, I kind of stopped, so I haven't been learning it. I kind of like stopped. But, yeah, y'all, I just, I do, I really, really do want to travel. And if my manifestation comes to fruition to where though I have the ability and the money and the means to travel oh i am traveling honey i want to see the world like i said i want to go to greece i want to go <clears throat> to maldives i want to go to bora bora i want to go to japan i want to go jamaica is a little uh, 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 i don't know yet um because i know jamaica their food is spicy and i am not Spice gal. Um, where else do I want to go? Italy. 
I just want to travel. And the reason being is one, just to see the world. And then two, the food. So I can try the food and stuff. Oh, Korea. I want to go to Korea. Um, you know, just learn the different cultures and stuff. And, um, but most of all, make memories. Because, of course, if I'm going to travel, she's going to go with me. She goes everywhere I go. So, just to have memories. So, then when she grow up and she see pictures and be like, or, you know what I mean, me recording it, she can go back and watch these videos and be like, oh, mommy, you know what I mean? We went to such and such or we did this and did it and this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? It's like. I want to go to Rio. Um, you know, it's just living my life and creating memories with my child, even with other family members who are willing to go, you know, and just having those memories. So then when we get older, we can look back and be like, damn, we was, we was in, we went to Bora Bora or we went we went to we went to Japan, you know what I mean, and had a good time. You know what I mean? It's just when I look and see people just getting up, catching a flight and going traveling the world. I'm not going to say I'm envious. I'm going to say I I would like to do that or be able to do that as well. So, you know. But in God's timing, you know. Um I know he will bless me to the point where though I will be able to do that. Um, you know, I just gotta be patient and continue to have the faith that it'll happen. So, but yeah, y'all, this minute, this this minute. Oh, why can't I? Why can't I fucking talk? <laughs> this video is about to be like fifty minutes long. 50 minutes long and it's supposed to be a, a life update but i love coming on here and being able to vent to you guys and you know just tell you guys how i feel and what be going on in my mind and stuff you know um because who knows there might be somehow somebody out there who might feel the same exact way but Make sure y'all like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, so you be notified every time I post a new video. You guys, I'm trying to get to 100K. I think I've been saying this for like two years, and I've been doing this since... ...2020? I started doing YouTube videos. I'm trying to get to 100K. I know I need to be more consistent. I know that's the key. Is being more consistent. And I'm going to try my best to do that. It's just, again, I am a single mom who takes care of this beautiful baby girl all on her own. And I go to school on top of that. So it's like a lot of stuff just be going on. So that's why I do post the shorts. Because I'm like, okay, instead of not posting at all, let me give y'all a little something. You know what I mean? I know it's not an actual video, but it's something. So trying to get to 100 k Get some kings and queens back up. Get some kings and queens. Get some more kings and queens up in this palace, okay? I'm the head queen, but we're all kings and queens, you know? So, make sure you share, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. Love y'all, love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for listening. If you made it here to the end, put in... Hashtag manifest with a blue heart. Hashtag manifest with a blue heart.
and I'll see y'all in the, in the in the next video. I love y'all so so much. Remember to always love yourself, love God, and love others. And I'll see y'all. Bye bye. Yeah.